Okay, so we're actually going to start by going to bannersnack.com. Um, just go to login, or you can go to sign up for free. Um, I, are, I have already logged in, so it's going to look a little bit different, but I just use my email. Um, I think you could probably log in with like Facebook or Google if you really wanted to. Um, create a password and all that, and then it'll ask you which plan you want to take, and just go with the free plan. Uh, we don't need to pay for this. And then there should be like a My Workspace area. Um, and we can actually go to Create New. And remember, you only get to make 10 designs under the free version. So make sure you don't go clicking around on all these different templates and, and where you end up actually accidentally going to going over 10 ads in your workspace. Because once you kind of click through onto a template, um, they, they will save that as, um, I think maybe you might be able to delete, but they still actually count it as 10, even after you delete. So just make sure that you, when you go to create new, go to single design, and then this is where you pick your size, but make sure you pick the right sizes here and you stick with it. Um, because you only get to make 10 designs total on the free plan. So if we go to, you know, the project worksheet, it's always good to take a look at all the ads, um, the sizes. So maybe we'll start, I'll just start with the 300 by 600. Um, so we've already done all three of these sizes with the Photoshop ads, but these are the two new sizes. Uh, one will be using a video. Um, it's actually a Facebook video ad. And then this is a carousel ad. And that will be for, I'm just going to do products, different products. So I've actually found purposes for each size of my ad, um, all for Fort North 40, obviously, but so new location ad, um, I'm going to have a general branding ad at this size. I'm going to have a garden center ad at this size, customer service. Um, I'm going to feature, you know, customer service in a video and then product carousel, um, in this size. And all three of these will be fairly similar to what we did before when you created your Photoshop animated ad. It's just going to be these ones that are a little bit different because a carousel ad actually scrolls through almost like a slideshow of ads. You probably have seen those on Facebook. Um, they do use them quite a bit on Facebook. And then the video ad is obviously going to be different because we're going to be embedding video. But I'm going to start off with the 300 by 600 right now just for... So let's go find that size here in Banner Snack. Uh, right, right here, half page. So we'll go with this size. And as you can see, this is the interface. So you can actually search the templates here off to the side. Um, backgrounds, you can choose colors, gradients, textures, and also images. Um, there's stock photos to choose from. Um, and I do believe you can use your own images as well. Um, and then elements, it's kind of like, um, a lot like Canva. So you can actually upload things into here. Um, so if I have images I want to upload, you can do it there. Um, you can add in buttons here. So some of them are not free. Any of this stuff that is in here, um, like the text or, you know, any of the templates, some of the templates aren't free. Um, some of them are, I think I might just start with, you can start with a template and then change it from there, but I think I might just design my own. I mean, this one's not bad either. Maybe I could go with this one. And it does. it is free too. Um, I haven't really decided if I was going to start from scratch or if I was going to try to take a template, a free template, and kind of, eh, maybe this will be good. I'll change the other colors and stuff. Okay, so here's our timeline down here with the different layers. They they have they have them all nicely labeled. We can you know change these as we go, um, but yeah, then you can add in buttons here. So some of them are free, some of them aren't. But you can change the text on them once you bring them in and everything. And then this is the animator. A lot of these animations we can't use, um, but we can use the alpha, which is cool. Um, so anyway, we will go from here. So I 
Okay, so we can actually start bringing in different text. So introducing our new garden center. Um, so we can change the text here. We can also go to the text tool and, and add text this way. Also take, you know, some of their pre-made um, things that they have here off to the side if we want. I'm going to actually change the size of mine to be smaller. So we actually click in here, highlight, click on this, and then the size is right here. So I can actually bring it down. Maybe I'll make it like 35. Maybe I'll make it on one line. So maybe 30. We'll see. Or not one line, but two lines. And then I'll add a... Oops. I want to have it on two lines. Um, you can center, you know, left, right, whatever, underline, all caps. Um, I actually think I might like it in all caps better. Um, maybe even like 27 point font. You know, you can change the line height here, make them, you know, a little bit more if you want. Um, letter spacing as well here, so we can really change that if we want to. Okay, so we can change the color here of the text, the opacity, you can add drop shadows. Uh, you can even edit the drop shadow to be a different color. Um, change the color here. I don't think I, well, maybe I do want a drop shadow actually. I think I'm going to change the color of the drop shadow though. I'll make it kind of a dark blue instead. Um, and you can change the blur on it. You can change the angle of it, you know, like make it further or closer to the letters. Um, you can make these have, you know, go to a URL or whatever if you wanted to. Um, I'm not sure what this is. You can duplicate, lock it, trash it here. So I don't know if I really... Maybe I will include an offer. Um, or 15% and then I'll do off all capitalized. Maybe we'll put the 15% off. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe we'll do the 15% off first and then strawberries after that since the 15% off is kind of an offer. Learn more. Um, and then we can actually bring in our image here. Oops. So maybe, let's see, it must be this one here. So if I want to bring that up in the layers, I can just bring it on top. And I think I'm just going to delete it though. And then I'll do, I think we go into elements and then go my upload, or let's see uploads I think it'll look like this maybe my uploads and then upload files I actually in my documents um, under graphic design uh, 340 I did create a north 40 animated ads folder that you should do something similar to this I have images in here that I have um, collected and we'll just take a look at some of these so I think the ad, the, the one I want to go with is probably this. So um, that'll bring that in. It should bring it in to my uploads. Oh, it's right here. Kind of like in Canva, very similar. Um, I'm just going to have to size this up a little bit so that it fits this space. I don't know if I want to have it centered. Maybe, maybe I do. And then I can bring this image all the way below that shape to kind of um, bring it down in size. And that's kind of nice because it actually does kind of help lead the eye through. And then like with North 40, I think their their main colors are, well, we can actually see them in the logo. So um, I'm going to upload another file here. There's this logo I found. It was a PNG and it actually already had the background 
clipped out. But I mean, if you find a JPEG online, just make sure it's a decent size, and then you can um, then you can use it. Like, just bring it in Photoshop and like delete the background and save it back out as a PNG. Don't save it out as a JPEG if you're trying to preserve the transparency. Make sure to use a PNG file if you're trying to have a transparent background. Um, and if you do that with your logo, it is, it is really going to make a difference in the design to have like a clean looking logo that you can put on a lot of different colors of background. Um, so this is pretty good. I think you can kind of see the colors that they're using. Um, so if we go to their, let's go to their website. I actually looked at them on Facebook. I looked at them on Google Images and I actually have not looked at this website yet. But yeah, it's basically blue and white. Um, I don't know if they have, they, it looks like they have this chartreuse color too. I don't know if that's something I could, I like that color, so I'd like to be able to use that. Um, so maybe this learn more button could be, you know, that sharp, that nice chartreuse color. Um, that probably means I'm going to have to change, um, I don't know, is it like something like that? Yeah, pretty close. And then I'm going to have to change this to be, um, this text color to be probably like a gray. Um, and then maybe this color can be, maybe we should make this white. Yeah. So if this is selected, we can come over here. Um, just kind of wondering what these different things are. Okay, so it's kind of a baby blue right now. Let's just try seeing what, like a darker, maybe a darker blue. Let's see, if we go with the dark blue though, like the North 40 logo really doesn't stand out very well. Um, like something a little less purple would be good too. One thing about this North 40 logo, I could bring it into Photoshop and make it white. Um, yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, so what I ended up doing is I ended up just making it white. Um, I think I'm going to change the text to be more not so like rounded looking. Um, maybe more like this, maybe. Um, or maybe, I don't know. I have quite a few things to choose from. I'm not sure if I'm, this one's not bad. Um, I think it's always going to be, what's it, what is this? Roboto, that one's kind of nice. Maybe I'll just change it to, all to Roboto. Um, I can actually type it in and it'll take me there. Um, I don't want it thin though. I just want it like maybe a medium and maybe not all caps. Let's see. Let's see if I can change that. Oh, maybe I have it on caps lock. Introducing, I did have it on caps lock. Oh, criminy. Sorry. Introducing our garden center. Maybe our should be, I'll say the. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Um, and then I think that maybe the line height should be a little bit more. So maybe something like that. Um, and then I want to bring this down. And then this shape has a drop shadow on it, I believe. If I go in here, if I click that off, you can see it. 
So I can edit this and maybe, maybe I'll copy the color from this. 